Have you ever dreamed of running your own cozy cafe filled with adorable cats? In Cat Cafe Manager, you get to rebuild your grandma's old cafe from the ground up, adopt strays and create a haven for both feline friends and coffee lovers alike. But can you balance the purrs and the profits? Let's dive in and take a look. Cat Cafe Manager is a cozy simulation game for all you cat lovers out there. Oh, and coffee drinkers as well. Developed by Roost Games and released in April 2022, you play as a young person who travels from the city to the sleepy village of Catawal Way, where you rebuild your grandmother's cat cafe. Along the way, you befriend the local cats, there does appear to be quite a few, and the townsfolk. Form long-lasting friendships, unravel kitty mysteries, and build a home for dozens of unique felines. I can't believe that this game has actually passed me by, especially as a lover of cat games. Recent reviews on Steam still have it as very positive, and reason I am reviewing this game now? Well, Roost Games have announced that they are bringing Cat Cafe Manager 2 Big City Bliss to Kickstarter on the 4th of September, and I cannot wait. Thank you to Roost Games for the key, though this does not affect my views and all my thoughts are my own. The game begins with you travelling to Ketawal Way, after receiving a letter that your gran has left you her business, the Cat Cafe. Unfortunately, when you arrive, you meet a large chap wearing yellow overalls on a woolly hat called Bonner in the place where your cafe is supposed to be. He gives you the bad news that the cafe was demolished in a storm. But on the bright side, a few bits of shabby furniture have survived. This is where you are introduced to the character creation. It is basic, but still gives you the sense of identity in the game. After picking your character's name, this also indicates the save file, the hairstyle, hair colour and skin colour, you are then asked to pick from three traits, which remind me a little bit of The Sims. It gave my character personality. As you level up in the game, there are further opportunities to get other traits. After choosing your cafe's name, the hardest part of the game, I must say, you come across three adorable kittens. Unfortunately, you can only choose one at this time, but there will be plenty of chances to adopt a variety of cats with all different skills and needs. Like yourself, your cats will also gain other traits as they level up. After naming them, you then are ready to start rebuilding your cat cafe and adopting traits. Designing is basic. To expand, you place the floors on wallpapers and you can remove them just as easily by using the remove button and getting your materials back. Decorating is just as simple and easy to move the items around and replace them back into your inventory or even sell them for their appropriate currencies. A little bit about currencies. Each type of customer pays with a different resource. For example, Vagabonds pay with fabric and witches pay with nectar. These different resources are spent in town on specific items. For example, for food, you need to spend nectar. This is where advertising becomes critical. If you find yourself getting low on any form of resource, then you can advertise for certain customers to visit. A great addition to the game, I feel. The goal of the game is quite simple to delight your customers. Each of your customers have needs, which when they are fulfilled, increase their satisfaction. If your customers leave satisfied, they will gain more delight. This is shown by the love heart on the top left-hand corner. This delight will help you gain more resources and help you expand the cafe. How to keep your customers satisfied? Well, cats, of course, those cute strays that you can attract with food lures. Your cats make your customers happy by meeting their cat needs. But of course, the cat's needs are just as important as well. We don't want unhappy cats. Furniture also has a part to play as well, as each part of the furniture has their own stats, which affect your cafe. And some customers even have needs tied to the furniture. So definitely watch out for this. Let's take a quick look at the customer's needs. We have a business person here that is visiting us. Presently, he's not so happy and his satisfaction is only at 10%. And this is helped by having one cat who has the business person trait, in this case, Lebra. To increase his satisfaction, we need to serve the Italian espresso coffee with a decent cooking skill and provide some comfort as well, which the appropriate table and chairs will give. As the cafe grows, it will be necessary to hire more staff and this can be done at the note board, which can be found in the town after you unlock it. Town is also where you spend your resources you collect from your customers to buy furniture, cat accessories, recipes and ingredients. Luckily, they seem to remain open till late. Potential employers have their own skills and traits, which you can train up like your own. As well as hiring staff, you can also house cats to other people to gain rewards. Especially useful if you need a boost of satisfaction or have too many cats and no space, which can happen quite easily if you can't say no to those gorgeous strays. Other content within the game is cleaning and repairing, placing lure to attract strays and interacting with the socials. Regulars you will meet throughout the game all have their own stories, a 
occasionally gossip about each other. You can befriend the regulars by ringing them at the telephone box. They will come to visit and then you can learn more about them and even get gifts as you level up your friendship with them. At the end of the night, you will get an overview of your day and rank. One thing I haven't mentioned is Grimalkin, a somewhat mysterious looking cat who introduces you to their shrine. This shrine plays an important part as he and the delight you collect from your customers go towards varying projects that are offered at the shrine. These projects are the key to helping you advance your cafe. The game controls are straightforward. Using the WASD controls to move about the cafe and the left and right mouse keys are used to interact with the customers and the environment. Visually, the game is charming and whimsical with its interesting characters and cute cats drawing you into a world of witches, punks and artists. The cats are adorable, lifelike but cartoonish with their differing looks, colours and personalities. I did notice however that sometimes the cats sat on each other, can't be very comfortable and they don't always use their litter tray. The sound effects of the bustling cafe with the customers murmuring and the cats meowing along with the music blended well with the game making the cafe feel alive. Unfortunately there was no voice acting you still got to know the characters, so this didn't feel too much of an issue. The game's strengths are the intriguing and personal stories and conversations you have with the main characters you befriend. And of course, the gorgeous cats each with their own personalities. The game is easy to learn and play, leveling up and expanding being fairly quick. Another nice touch was when you hit the escape menu. It paused the game and gave you the option to edit your character or your cafe name. Not many simulation management games offer this. You can also take a look at Granny's notebook at this menu to recap on anything that you may have missed. I did wish that furniture could be placed outside so to capitalise on all the space and the walls could be placed separately to partition between the rooms. Otherwise, the game ran smoothly with little issue. Overall, Cat Cafe Manager is an endearing, cosy management game that kept me entertained for many hours. It's perfect for cat lovers and cosy game enthusiasts. The management and strategy did lack depth and so that might not appeal to everyone. But for me, that added to the game's appeal. I definitely give this game a 9 out of 10 for its charming gameplay, charismatic characters and lovable cats. If you're looking for a game with adorable cats and quirky characters and straightforward management style, then this game is worth your time. I, for one, am looking forward to Cat Cafe Manager 2, which is coming to Kickstarter on the 4th of September. A 3D world but offering the same coziness and wholesomeness as Cat Cafe Manager. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more game reviews. And let me know in the comments what you think about the game or is there something you'd like me to review next? If you're interested in a new game coming out on the 5th of September, then take a look at this video above. All about Ale and Tail Tavern, a cooperative first person open world fantasy tavern simulator with fishing, hunting, exploration and diverse quests. And of course, there's cooking. Thank you for watching. Take care.